Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today I'm going to be talking about the M4A4. This is an M4A1 suppressed in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now, if you haven't been keeping up with the patch notes, basically, the M4A1S got a massive, massive nerf. It's got a reduced price, which is nice, but it has reduced armor penetration, reduced rate of fire, and increased base spread. And basically, the whole Counter-Strike Global Offensive community has basically said this new M4A1S is really really bad that's the same mindset that the pros have, bit, have adopted nobody barely anybody used it in the latest dreamhack tournament everybody's using the m4a4 and if you go and use it in game use it in a death match use it in a competitive match you can obviously, obviously see the m4a4 is better it's so much better in so many different ways but that's no, that's such a one-dimensional view. That's such a one-dimensional view of these two different weapons. Basically, how hard can you frag? That's how everybody's thinking about it. The M4A4, it's got a high rate of fire, it's got really nice spread, Basically, this weapon is fantastic for overall killing. And for A1S, you just can't kill as well. However, people have been using these two different weapons in very, very similar situations. When the M4A1S was originally introduced in the game, it was meant as an alternative to the M4A4 for different situations. The M4A4 was made as an overall fragging weapon, so you can pre-fight, so you can go for spray down, so you can go and take out whole teams with one magazine. The M4A1S was there to fill a role that Counter-Strike Global Offensive did not have, where you didn't want to go and run, let's say, a sniper rifle on your team, but you wanted something that was a laser at long-range combat. The M4A1S has lower recoil than the M4A4, and that initial hit, that initial first hit accuracy is much, much higher. It is a marksman's weapon. It's not made to be entry fragging. You're supposed to be sitting in really, really small areas, sniping people basically with this silent weapon that can go and decimate people at long ranges. It's a laser at long ranges, but with that 20 bullets in a magazine, you just can't go and spray down. Before this patch was introduced, basically the only difference between people using the A1 and A4 was that the A1 had 10 less bullets, but it had lower recoil. That was the only, only difference. Now this patch goes and separates the two weapons and you can use them in different situations. Nobody uses this weapon in DreamHack. I guarantee by the next major, there will be people using the A1 because it's a fantastic weapon on certain maps. For example, take Cobblestone. If you're trying to go and hold a position from a long range and obviously the CT side doesn't have the AK-47, there's a much higher chance if you don't have an AWP to use the A1 and actually do good with it in comparison to the A4. With the A4, your position just gets given up so, so, so quickly. You have that split second advantage with that suppressed weapon. The fact that it's really accurate as well. And even though it does have, in it does have increased base spread, it doesn't matter because your aims are going to get those two really, really quick shots near the head. One connecting and one ho hopefully hitting the head again in order to go and secure that kill. When you're playing matchmaking, your team can only go and pull off very basic strategies just for the fact that your communication is really not that good. For example, on Dust2 on the terrorist side, if you want to go and do a mid to B, you really only need one smoke and a flash to go and pull off the take relatively well. And that's really not that hard to go and do just by communicating through the voice chat in a normal matchmaking solo queue game. But saying that, if you want to go and pull off a really high level strategy, you just can't go and do that. So it go, it, it really just goes and defaults back to how fast can you go and kill the enemy players. And for that reason, the M4A4 is a much better weapon. However, in a competitive setting, if you want to go and pull off a really high level strategy, for example, the wall of smokes on Mirage is one of my favorite, favorite strategies where you have just so many smokes surrounding the site just linked up so perfectly that it's really difficult for the CTs to go and even penetrate the site. For example, the M4A1 could be perfect in that situation with the smoke cover. You can go and just sit in the corner and just snipe out the CTs with its highly laser-like abilities and go and keep your position sealed. 
There just wasn't enough time for the pros to go and change their strategies to go and adopt the new A1. Now they're just using A4, but by the next major, I guarantee some teams, some high level teams, will be using the A1 in their high level strategies just because it goes and complements these very sneaky types of scenarios very, very well. But for the majority of us that are just solo queuing, go and rock the A4. It's a much better weapon for our type of needs. But other than that, Undercover Dudes, all the way from down under, out.